Hi, I'm Harley. So, I was going to give Jurassic World Evolution a shot here. Um, I'm not going to talk during the game because there's a lot of information that comes at you uh, really kind of fast in the beginning. And I tried to do this last night and I got distracted and all my dinosaurs got eaten. So, I just wanted to say hi and um, let you know that I'm here and we're going to play and we're just going to see what this is all about looks great so far um, from what I've seen and I'm really excited to play it but uh, just have to be able to pay attention and multitasking is not always my strong suit so uh, let's go take a look hello may I say welcome my name is dr. Ian Malcolm you may have heard of me well correction you should have heard of me especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can, uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should, because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Let's focus on what you're here to do which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time and a next. Life, it begins, the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay. You're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. People think money makes the world go round, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go round, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase, meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. Ruthio Mimus. Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us, and to me. I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. The Fossil Center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting!
The Research Center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. I'm Owen Grady, Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous, and I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it.
I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. One of your dinosaurs has failed to incubate. I never said bringing back dinosaurs was gonna be easy. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment, making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. I see you've hatched a triceratops. Might be cute now, but that's only going to last for about a week. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later.
Uh, this is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. 